In a year where Kim Jong-un has been testing missiles and raising international tensions for impending war to levels unprecedented before, we would still rather live in prison camp 2411 than having to deal with Trump or Brexit. The Bitcoin skyrocketed in value until... Harvey Weinstein was finally exposed for sexual abuse after decades of him being a known monster, leading to pretty much everyone in Hollywood being outed. <laughs> Terrorism, fraud, natural disasters, shootings, cyber attacks, assassinations, and the death of Adam West. Well, let's talk about the things that escape us from this dystopia we live in. Films, games, and pop culture, baby! Disney started installing telescreens in each home, and as we all know, we've been at war with Eurasia all along. Loads of Marvel films came out, everyone saw them, everyone liked them, everyone ate the slop from the Disney troughs, you fucking pigs. Logan had Professor X as a senile old man and a drunk Wolverine. I loved it. Star Wars The Last Jedi came out and people were unhappy with how illogical this magical space wizard movie was. Dunkirk came out and had three timelines running parallel. What is this, X-Men? Get Out was a directorial debut masterpiece for writer-director Jordan Peele, immediately putting other directors to shame. Now he will undoubtedly direct Doctor Strange 2, Electric Boogaloo, or Akira, Why Does This Need To Be Made Chronicles. It came out and people went crazy for a remake of a shitty TV film about a book involving child gangbangs and cocaine. Blade Runner came out and like the original, nobody saw it, but it will be remembered as a cult masterpiece. Disney realised that remaking timeless and beautifully animated films into expensive fan films that will undoubtedly age horribly will make them enough money to buy Uganda. Wonder Woman came out and it was fucking shit. Don't care what none of y'all say. What? what? Tom! Jazz and Sonic Wonder Woman again. Gavito is a national treasure and an international treasure. Yes. I'd like to see you it's best press what she did. It's fucking DC movie. Stop hating women. The story is like, I don't, I don't hate sense. women. I just you dislike them that they don't have a penis, all right? Gavito, you have a girlfriend. Justice League came out and it was fucking hilarious. Never has an expensive mustache been so fucking funny. Lots more films came out, but The Big Sick was the best film. Moving on, The Switch came out. This is amazing! I feel incredible! Yes, 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 yes! I can win! I feel great! I can do this! Ugh. Horizon Zero Dawn and Assassin's Creed walked into a pub. They ordered a pint and sipped it quietly until Big Daddy Zelda came in. Big dick swinging, he downed both of their pints and noshed on some fucking hula hoops. Breath of the Wild is now the clear alpha male, with none of the sandbox games even getting close to how good it is. Sonic was great again for about three months until Sonic was no longer great again. <laughs> Nintendo did some cooking <laughs> and got fucking weird with Mario X Rabbits X Com. Then sobered up and went. What's up, fuckers? Want your cocks blown off? Here's Mario and Zelda in the same year. Oh, God, oh, thank Pub could get crashing my computer every time, so fuck it, I don't care about that game. Fuck, who cares? Indie Dev said, hey, you can make affordable mid-tier games and do a decent job. So maybe the rigid £55 price tag isn't quite what's needed, and not all games need to sell 2 million copies to break fucking even. Then EA stepped in and said, fuck off, mate. Do I need to fucking show you how it's done? Konami, hold my fucking beer. I'm a fuck everybody. I'm a fuck everything. Politicians are going to be like, hey, dog, stop that shit. That's st no, man. EA fucked itself into a hole 
so it doesn't care about games whatsoever, just so long as it can fit as much as it can into its money hole. So what does 2018 have in store? New fucking Mega Man, baby! Project Octopath 2.5 Birth by Sleep Infinite Undiscovery 358 divided by 2 days. Dragon's Balls Fighters is... It looks good. And there's a new From Software game, so... So it can't be too bad, am I right? I mean... It's not like we're just gonna get more Disney films and more Marvel films and... More satisfying, but ultimately hollow things that just barely fill the void until Kim drops those fucking nukes. Drop those nukes, buddy! I'm ready! I'm ready, buddy! Drop those fucking nukes! End my fucking suffering! No. Fucking Batman vs Superman! Justice League! Wonder Woman! They're all shit! No! No! Okay, maybe I'm wrong!